So, um, we're back. I hope that it caught the rest of that. Um, I was recording a minute ago and I'm not sure what happened, but just a quick review. So I um, measured out to the halfway point between my piece of paper, it's 11 wide. So I measured out the five and a half point and then I measured a three inch because I'm gonna make three inch squares on my paper. My paper is 11 inches wide by um, 15 inches long. So um, if you're working with copy paper at home, just printer paper, then that's totally fine. You'll probably want to make a two inch square or a two and a half inch square template. Okay. So after I found that center point, I measured out in three different places so I could draw a nice guideline for my center of my boxes. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to erase this um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give a... Um, I should be able to hopefully do two to five, five to eight, eight to, no. Okay, so I'm actually gonna, oh yeah, one to four. I'm gonna do from one to four inches. I'm gonna make some marks here and then from four to seven inches and then from seven to 10 inches and then from 10 to 13 inches. And that, I'm gonna do this on this side as well. Um, again, I'm going to start at my one. So I'm making a little line there, a little mark here at the four, a little mark at the seven, a little mark at the 10, and a little mark at the 13. And so what that's going to do is now I'm going to be able to come across here and I'm just going to put in the guidelines for my boxes. Now on my top row, I'm going to take my line all the way across because, um, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, real life. Right there, right there. See, no one's perfect, not even the teacher. Okay, so this row, the second box, is where I'm going to take my guideline all the way across. Remember, you're marking super lightly in pencil. Um, you're going to be able to fit one, two, three, and four boxes going long ways on your template. And then um, you'll see, after I fill in this, um, you will be able to see this is going to be the center. If you guys can see on your template um, in the presentation, in the PowerPoint that's in Canvas and that's also on YouTube, you can see that it looks kind of like a T, the template. So that's how I remember it, T for template. Now down here, when I come down and I connect these lines, um, I've got... Um, I will have four boxes going or four squares going this way. So um, I hope you guys can see this. So we've got the one box here. This is our center box, this box here, and this box here. Now I need to measure off these two side boxes to be three inches. It's very important that every square is exactly three inches or exactly two inches or whatever dimension you're using because a cube has equal sides, okay? So I'm going to take this, I'm going to go from my one to my four, and then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to start at the four, and then I'm going to make a little line using my one here. So when I go to complete this, I'm lining my sides up nice and straight, and then I am just filling them in. Okay, nice light guidelines. Hopefully you guys can all see that. Um, so the other thing that we need to do um, after we do this is, oh yeah, I need to measure out. I'm going to come out here. My ruler starts at zero, goes to three, starts at zero, and goes to three. Okay, so now I'm going to line up those little marks. And again, just a nice light line to tell where we are. So hopefully you guys can all see um, this template. You've got uh, one, two, three, and four boxes going this way. And then you've got box five and six going this way. So that's how we came up with the six optical illusions. So, um, and then when we go to put the cube together, um, it's gonna be uh, every side a little different. And so that's the neat thing about it. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to add some flaps. So um, you want to make sure that you add flaps so that when you cut it out, you are going to be able to glue it all together. So 
um, you're going to add a flap um, here, okay, right here. And you can get super geeky and you can measure this out and, and get like, you know, a half inch flap or whatever. Or you can just, um, that would probably be the best way to do it. You take it and to line up these, you know, the corner of this box with the corner of this box and, um, and get your angles like, super perfect. Um, and you can totally, you know, totally do that. Um, same thing here. You would line up these two corners and you're going to get what we call 90 degree, um, you know, angle there. And then you can connect these lines this way. Um, that's a great way to do it. Uh, hopefully you guys can all see this right here. Right. So, um, that's one way you can do it. Or, um, you can just rough it in like this up here. Obviously, you know, anytime we're, we're using precision measurements, you're going to get a uh, better perception and a better result. Uh, since we're at home, I'm I totally understand if you guys um, just do your own thing, you know, and do whatever way you can do it to make your cube work. Um, but again, um, you would come to this box right here for this angle and come across here. And then we would just uh, come right here for this angle and just follow your ruler or your straight edge. Um, for this part, you don't necessarily even need a ruler. Um, and right here, you just need, I don't know, I'm winging it right here, guys. So, <laughs> and, but you want to flap on uh, all of these sides. And then um, you want to make sure that your flaps are in the right spots. And there's actually a flaw on the template online uh if you look at the template online there's no flap on either side of these you need to put a flap on one uh both sides don't need a flap but at least one side is going to need a flap so that when you connect this side to this side over here you've got a good solid um way to connect that so hope that this all makes sense i'm going to go ahead and finish up these lines if you guys have questions um, feel free to email me in time, and um, I'll try to do another video of selling the cube. All right. Okay. Hopefully, you guys are good to go.